What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and today I'm scrapping one of my favourite photos of Violet as a newborn uh, with my dad and I just I absolutely love this photo. My dad was one of the first people that she smiled for uh, and I yeah I just I can't I've been wanting to scrap this photo for ages so I'm finally up to scrapbooking the start of 2020 or oh, well I'm finishing off the end of 2019 but uh, I'm now up to 2020 which is exciting because boy oh boy 2020 has some adventures uh, and so the first thing I'm doing is I'm going through trying to use up some older paper pads uh, just because they've been sitting around for a while and Whenever I buy a new paper pad, I typically get a little bit obsessed with it and uh, want to make everything with it. So I'm trying to give the old ones a bit of love as well. Let me know in the comments, are you a paper pad person or are you a like single sheet, just buy your favorite pieces type of person? I am definitely a paper pad lover. And I think part of that is just because it's much easier to get uh, here in Australia. And I only buy paper pads that I would use 75% of the, the papers, um, or, you know, roughly, don't actually go through and work it out. Uh, but I think, and I also appreciate that I'm not wasting the other side of the paper if I don't want to do something on the back. I have recently been doing a few videos uh, where I've done a layout on both sides of the paper um, over on Patreon. Let me know if you do that with the paper or if you just use a single side, if you um, if you use non-paper pad papers, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so this next bit, uh, so we're doing a bit of faux mixed media today and when I feel like getting messy but I either don't have the time to let things dry or I can't use my heat gun because Violet's mm -hmm. sleeping. I love to use painted papers and things um, on my layouts to give the illusion of some painted messiness. And so I'm using one of my printables from, ooh, was it February? It was either February or March. Uh, and this was one of the Patreon printables that I had. And I just roughly cut out um, a heart shape and I wanted to keep this page quite simple in its composition just to really focus your eye on on the, the little smiles between um, Popo and his little first little granddaughter and so I do a lot of sticking I've sped this bit up quite fast I wish that I was able to stick this fast it would be amazing it's so satisfying though to watch sped up double-sided tape removal because it's like swim swam swam that's um that's how lame I am that my favorite superpowers would be to be able to remove adhesive quickly <laughs> uh so I have completely craft foamed the bejesus out of this um this little bit of cardstock and I'm decided I had enough with the double-sided tape, so I reached for my wet glue instead, and I'm just sticking that down. The craft foam isn't thick, it's just from the kids' uh, section, but it's thick enough to, to give it a bit of a definition, and it may not look like it on camera, but uh, when you're flicking through the album, you can really tell that it's, it's sitting up, which is nice. I'm adding a white doodly border just to really emphasize that heart shape and um, make it kind of stand out a little bit and also make it mirror the white border of my photo. I've been using cutter parts um, quite a bit recently and I stumbled upon, if you're an OG inklet, you'll know my struggle with finding my box of crepe paper uh, goodies that I lost when we moved, not the move that we did last year, but the move that we did just after Archie was born. And I had, uh, I packed up my Alex drawers and I put all of my favorite crepe paper things in a box. And then that box mysteriously disappeared and I was never able to find it again. Good news, I found it and I finally unpacked it uh, for, no, three, three and a half years later. And so I have this collection, I think it was called Little You, possibly. 
Uh, it was a baby collection and so you'll probably see a few bits and pieces from that pop up here and there in the next few months but I just wanted to add a couple of a couple of little bits and bobs uh, and you know a bunny is always a happy um, a happy little embellishment to add in my books and I really liked how the bunny was kind of looking into the photo um, and not out of the photo kind of looks like she's looking into violet so next up I am using a very very technical way to put my glue on my wood veneer which is with my finger and in the photos at the end the glue is still wet but it does uh, it does dry clear so you can't see it but um, I just wanted to add that so that you didn't think that they had all the splotches on the photo I've got this oh, ac opaque pieces and me not opaque sorry transparent transparent pieces and uh, I we don't get along I had this little acetate in belly and in that little U collection there was a lot of acetate pieces and I I don't know I just struggled to use them so I stapled that one on there and then I'm going through this little box of DIY in bellies that I've made over the years uh, a lot of these were made from I filmed I, I've talked about it before but I filmed a jelly plate class before Archie was born so it'd be five years ago and I never edited and uploaded it because I thought about it too much just like the junk journal class and then I got too nervous to upload it um, but these are some of the little embellies that I made who knows one day there might be a jelly plate class uh, I am actually working on a class currently which will be out at some point this year um, but yeah so just added I wanted a little pop of color a little extra something but nothing too crazy so now I've got some puffy stickers and I'm just trying trying to make that triangle uh, I just feel like it just does good things to the eyes when you look at it a bit of a triangle of clusters so I've got the top right with the acetate piece and the little hearts then the left with the bunny and then the bottom of the triangle is with the um, jelly plate flag and where I'm sticking that little plus sign down the bottom. Mm. And oh, my phone is having all of the notifications. Um, by the way, happy International Scrapbooking Weekend slash day. Uh, I hope you are having a good one. I was hoping to have a live stream, but alas, I was not able to... Um, to organize it and we've got Archie's operation coming up very very soon um, so we're just trying to spend a lot of time together on the weekends and get out of the house and out and about because I think he will be a bit of an unhappy chappy for um, a couple of weeks when he has that done but I hope you're having a great day let me know in the comments if you are doing anything for International Scrapbooking Day uh, if you're following anyone's challenges or uh, if you are having a chance to getting some time to, to scrap by yourself um, getting a quiet little moment or if you're scrapping with friends over zoom or um, if you're lucky enough to be in a location that you can be with people um, if you're doing that but I, I love the way this page turned out it was just a, a sweet little one to to put together I was toing and froing a little bit about uh, Posca paint penning the wood veneer and mm, we'll see we'll see if I change my mind but I did I, I have been really loving uh, using Posca paint pens over my wood veneer lately and I recently discovered a whole bunch of words uh, wood veneer words in my stash so that was exciting so you'll probably see lots of wood veneer titles over the next coming months speaking of which let me know in the comments if there's any specific videos that you'd like to see over here on YouTube um, I've been filming things a little bit in advance um, so that I can get ahead while while Archie's um, out of action and I'm looking after him for two weeks at home um, but yes let me know what you'd like to see and I do finally decide to do the paint pen and I love the way it, it looks it does looks more like it belongs because the background was wood and it was just a bit too 
wood wood um but yeah let me know if you like this one please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i hope you all have a fabulous weekend i'll see you very soon bye